Hey guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a creative person, as an artist. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add glyph characters to your phones on Zazzle Designer 2. Now, there could be a lot of the different ways, but I'm going to show you the way based on my own research and experience. So far, I've been actually researching a lot about it. And I'm going to show you one of the method in this video. Hopefully it will going to help you. Let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more such videos. We have a lot of the Zazzle resources. The links are in the description box below. One is the Zazzle workbook planner that will going to help you plan for your shop and making more money. The link is in the description box below. The second is a Zazzle tutorial kit. If you're interested in getting started with Zazzle and want step-by-step -step tutorials, then it contains everything that you're going to be needing for getting started with the Zazzle. The link is in the description box below. The third kit i have is a zazzle ebook that will going to help you uh getting started with the zazzle and then also i have a marketing book if you are interested in marketing and promoting your products online in the space and also if you're looking for making money online as a creative person as an artist then i have a book where i talk a lot about different ways how much can you make pros and cons a lot of the stuff is there all the links of these products in the description box below check it out but without further ado, let's dive in with this tutorial. Now, today I'm going to talk about and show you how to use the glyph characters uh, for your fonts in Zazzle. And these will be customizable and editable fonts that will be editable and personalized by your customers. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process. So let's move to my laptop. Scrolling currently here on the laptop. Now I'm going to show you how to add the glyphs to your Zazzle fonts while actually creating the customizable designs. Ideally, you're not allowed to uh, import the fonts on Zazzle. Like if you're trying to import the fonts, you can only upload them as a PNG file. And these PNG files are not customizable, are not editable. They are just kind of like a sticker design. You just place them and customer won't be able to edit them. They're just going to be like that only just like a normal image. They can only replace them, but they can't add additive text. So that's the thing is there you can't import your own font in uh, Zazzle uh, as the time of speaking currently. Maybe in the future if they update it or if they come up with the new ideas and they give you the choice to upload your own fonts and that would be a different scenario. But currently you don't have the choice. You don't have the option to upload your own fonts or import your own fonts in the Zazzle Designer tool. So I'm going to show you one of the methods to actually create the glimpse or to get the claims in your fonts. Now, I'm actually going to reference you from one of the community posts on Zazzle by one of the designer. Now, this is a designer, WH Designs, or she or he, whatever it is. He, they have actually made the character chart for script fonts on Zazzle for the glimpse purposes. Now, there are so many tools and so many softwares out there that people use. I've been also trying with the different ones like the character map or the font lab or the main type. And there are so many different softwares that people use to get the glints from the fonts because it's um, because it's hard to get them if you're trying to do without any software. But uh, there are so many of them and I did try a few of them, but since we can't import the fonts in Zazzle, so that's a little bit harder to use these tools or software to get these glints. But I was actually researching on Zazzle. Uh, I was actually searching for Zazzle on a Google and I came across this community post by one of the designer, WHS Design, the how to add the glimpse. So find the font in the collection below. Open the fonts contact sheet in the Zazzle design tool. Use the edit text command and copy and paste the glimpse to your design. Actually make the entire uh, chart for the spatial character chart for the script fonts on the Zazzle. I'm not sure how they actually did it, but they have did it for the purpose of uh, other Zazzle creators to use these glimpses in their fonts. Uh, but please guys, don't resale them or don't, uh, don't actually resell these glimpses to someone else. This is just for the Zazzle creator only because the copyright or the trademark or the right, whatever is being held by this particular designer, WHS Designs. I did try to use a different tools, but it was not working because Zazzle currently don't have an option to import our yeah. own fonts. So once in the future, if Zazzle gave us the option to import our own fonts, then that will going to make a lot more easy to add the glimpse. But currently this option is not there. So we can't go into that downloading the different softwares and using the different tools. So this is the one method I'll show you. If in the future, 
Zazzle allowed us to upload or import our own fonts and that would be a different case but currently we don't have so what we're gonna be doing is actually gonna be using this community post as an example as a framework for adding the glimpse so this is a link I'm gonna place the link in the description box of this video so make sure you do check it out so just click over to this particular link so here is the link and this is a link to the main conversation of the community tab then you have to click over to this link again okay and here we got to the zazzle collection our collection about the spatial characters for script fonts now i did try to use them and they work for me so i've seen that they have a lot of the charts uh, depending on whichever font you would like to use, whichever character or glyph you like to choose, you can go with that. I'm just going to take a one for the sake of this tutorial, okay? So, what do you have to do? She uh, actually written the instructions over here. You can read them. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Once we're going to read it and then I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So, open a copy of the desired font contact sheet in a new window. Open a... Uh, second window with your design go to the first window for the font contact sheet click on personalize button and then add it using design tool once you are inside the design tool click on the text box of the desired glimpse you must then click on the added text command on the right this will pop up the edit text command with a narrow rectangle or square this is how the special characters are represented inside the edit text box pop up Copy this rectangular square to your clipboard and hit the OK button. Go to second window with your, you have to just paste them. And then there is a few notes that you need to look into. Some of these font contact sheets are incomplete. Okay, so they won't be listed there. The ligatures, uh, the ligatures, glimpses, and the swashes in this collection are to be used for improving workflow processes for Zazzle creators. They're not intended for purchase or resell. So make sure, please, don't resell them. So we're going to take an example of one particular sheet over here. You can do it with any type of fonts or any font you're interested in. I'm going to use this one for the example. So just I'm going to cl right click over here and this is the uh, font glyph contact sheet this is how it actually look like then i'm going to click over to the personalize button i'm going to go over to the edit using design tool okay and here we are with all the fonts uh, with all the characters with their glyph now whichever character whichever font or whichever character you're interested in there what do you have to do i'm going to use this a okay capital a I'm going to click over here and I'm going to go over to the option edit text. Now, you, I, I don't know what they have done and how they have actually created this one. But you simply need to copy this one. Okay, just copy this one and go back to your design in which you want to add this particular glyph. Okay, so I'm just going to take a random uh, design from my uh, from my store. Now, this is a store I made for the sake of the tutorial on this channel. So you can actually open up your own design where you want to add the glyph to the character. So here it is the random text, okay? I just type down random text or you can type your own specific text. So I'm going to type the ABC just for the sake of this video, okay? So here we are. Let me just scroll down. Now the font that she has been using is the font is Abigail. So I have to go over here and I have to select the font, the Abigail. So just go over to the font, select the Abigail, and here it would be, wait a second, okay, here it is, okay, and you can see currently there is no glimpse, okay, if you're selecting the font, there is no glimpse, so what do you have to do, just go over to the option edit text, and instead of the A, because that was the thing that we actually copied to our clipboard where that was the character a okay and that for we want the glimpse so i'm just gonna remove that and i'm just gonna paste it over here simply paste that and click okay and here we are with the glimpse you can see let me just put this one aside and let me show you and here we are with the glyph. You can see how the glyph is actually looking with the character that we have copied. Now you could do this for multiple number of characters, multiple number of fonts or multiple number of fonts design. So 
I'm just gonna go back to that particular uh, sheet that was the sheet okay now I can use any other font as well or any other character as well so I'm gonna use this small h and I'm gonna click over to this uh, small h I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm gonna go back to my design I'm just gonna delete this one because I don't need this and I'm gonna just add a text box with the written word as highlight okay I'm just gonna okay it and now the I'm gonna change its font to Abby Legale the fonts for which we have actually copied now I'm gonna go to the edit text and that was the one that I copied was for the edge so I'm just gonna paste it wherever all the edge is there in my in the word or sentence so it was three times and I'm click OK and here we are you can see the glimpse clearly okay now you could do with the any fonts now you can just go back and look at the different uh, fonts they have actually made the glimpse for there are so many different fonts over here which she has made the glimpse and you can practically use them in your design now this one of the this is the one of the method that I practically found on Zazzle when I was actually researching on a Google other way you could actually import these special characters as a PNG files and then you can add them onto your designs onto your fonts but those won't be editable or customizable by your customer but this one is editable so this designer has actually put a lot of the work to create these contact sheets for the font glyphs so please don't misuse it use it for your workflow process we're gonna use some other font as well so let me show you this everglow script font uh let's just go back so here we are with this one i'm gonna click over to the personalize button over here i'm gonna click over here edit using design tool and i'm gonna select any character over here let's take the b and then i'm gonna go to the edit text copy this one and i'm gonna go back to my design for example this is the text that I want to add now I'm gonna just paste this over here for the B and click OK now what I have to do is to actually change the font the font was the Everglow so I need to select the font let me just do that here it is wait a second guys here it's the font so you can see the B has added the glyph or I can add it the text and I can remove the first one so that I can show you here it is the B has added the glyph so likewise you can use any font that she ha that this particular design is designer is having in their collection for creating the font glyphs and you can copy them to your clipboard and you can paste them on your design and you can use it but you are not allowed to resell these uh, ligatures glimpses, or swatches you're only allowed to use them for your workflow process as being a zazzle creator so that's the solution currently i have for creating the glimpse in your fonts on Zazzle, which are customizable, editable, and personalized by your customer. Uh, this is one of the method currently. If in future Zazzle come up with importing or uploading our own fonts, then there are so many ways in which you can add the glimpse. But currently, this is the only method I've seen. If you know any other method to add glimpse to your fonts on Zazzle, please let me know in the comment section below because it will going to be helpful for other people as well and for me as well. Or if you don't want to do that, then you could very well import those special designs and uh, shapes and like a PNG file and you can add them to your fonts. But those won't be customizable or editable or personalized by your customers. So that's the one side back. But that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you find it useful. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want more such videos, I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you the next time. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.